All right, folks, it's that long time, and I'm afraid that I'm a little bit a lot behind the schedule. So let me show you what's going on. I do have the game, and by the way, there is only uh, nine hours left for the engine, uh, for the gem to end, uh, So which, which is not a lot of time. Let's see how many time I've spent in this game. And if you don't know what's going on, I'm participating on Ludendary. 51, the theme is every 10 seconds. Uh, this is a game gen, so I have the three days to make a game and I'm using K, which is my own game engine. And I have to say, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about everything. I've been working a lot of uh, in the engine. If you see here the uh, change list of K since this, the beginning of the gen. Um, so here was pretty much like the beginning of the gen and you can see how many commits I've made during this uh, 48 last hours. So yes, the engine evolved a lot uh, and I will make a video show you everything that's new, but for now let's focus on the game. Uh, just a small thing, the statistics for this game, I've spent 9 hours and 46 uh, minutes working in the, in the game itself and 46 min minutes playing, so 10 hours. Uh, and there is, as I said, nine hours left. So I basically have like just the amount of time that I had making this game left to finish it. So that's why I think that I will be able to finish it in time. But let me show you what's going on. I do have the, let me go ahead and open this as a standalone so you can see a little bit better. Save and run as, as standalone. So now I have a standalone game, of course. Um, and this is the main menu, there's nothing in the background, there's no music and anything like that, just the functionalities right now. So I do have a how to play, there's nothing, just a to do, and I can play the game. So if I play the game, you will be able to see that I do have my character, I can move them around, and I have like inverting worlds in 8 seconds, and health is 100%. And by the way, I made a system that makes the time count slower if you're not doing anything. That way you can think about where you, uh, your next moves, and I kind of like this. So basically in 10 seconds you get you go to the inverted world where you have where you have enemies so you can see oh I will die. Let me die just to show you the engine functionalities. So there's a game over <laughs> uh, and I can go back to the main menu and play the game again. Uh, so basically if I collect this while I'm in the like normal world, this is a box. So again, it will have an icon and stuff like that. You can see that I'm now green. This means that if I go to the inverted war, I can actually defeat these enemies. So I'm attacking them and they are taking some damage. I'm taking more damage than them. You can see that I just died, uh, just killed one. Uh, but here's the deal. Every time the world flips again, the enemies became like these barriers and you cannot like jump over them. I mean, you can if you have like the right stuff here. But the idea is that you need to go to the inverted world and like position the enemies and kill them uh, in order to make space, make room for you to pass and keep making, like continuing your uh, journey across the map to finally reach the portal, the end portal. And I know, I don't know if you saw that, let me go back to the main menu and play the game again. The portal is red by default, so the deal is you need to collect these uh, coins here in order to make them uh, passable. So you cannot interact with the portal, but if you can, if you collect the, the coin, you will be able to. So yeah, it's not a good, like a perfect game, um, but it is what I was able to do in this gem because pretty much like 99% of my time was spent here making the engine, making this engine like usable for you guys to uh, use it. And I'm very happy. You can see that I already have a good game, like every single feature that you can expect from the game. Oh, I'm losing health points. Combat is a little bit weird right now. Maybe I will make the enemies do not attack you if you attack them. I don't know. Uh, this is a health. Uh, Potion. There's nothing right now, but you can see that I do have health and I can collect them and recover my health. And again, not intractable. Now it is intractable and I can win the game. Um, so this is pretty much the state of my game. There's no sounds yet, which is uh, like, yes, this is a big thing. I need to add sounds. Luckily in Cave, it's very easy to play sounds. Very, very, very easy. With a single line of code, you can play every sound you want. I just need to select the right ones and add the sound when I need it. Uh, so I do this next and then I move to the art of the game and finally the level design because as you can see, there's no level design right now. This is just a test stuff 
for all the mechanics and everything that I've been implementing. So yes, I have to work on that uh, right now. Oh, by the way, where, why? Why are you are in the inverted world? Uh, you you cannot interact with this or uh, this, and I will make it so you cannot enter the portal in the inverted world as well because that I don't think that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, and the same for the for the coins. So that's pretty much it. I'm very happy with like the way that my engine is handling all that. Like you can see that I can resize the window and keep playing the game and like the UI of the engine will automatically like if I pause the game it works just fine and I'm very very excited about that. Yes, the game the, the engine is working folks. <laughs> it is working like a charm and of course you can close this go back to the engine and play the game like here. Uh, so yes, I can just play everything and if I hit like F3, I can go ahead and select my stuff and move them around, which is super exciting. Like let's try to duplicate this object and make it here. Here we go. I just collected an item. I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, so yes, I can do this while the game is working. I can do, oh, this, this enemy is actually selected. I can select enemies here. Um, so yeah, a lot of cool stuff and I've made a bunch of templates, for example, this camera component, you can see that it does have like a UI here to indicate what's going on. I have a bunch of variables and I do have, man, everything in this engine is better. I like the, the scripting is like way better right now. Uh, and by the way, it's something that I really missed uh, in the past is that like if you select an object or anything in the engine, uh, previously, if you start to stop the game, the asset browser and the property tab we will reset now it no longer does that so if i play the game you can see that i'm still selecting the plane 2 and if i stop the game i'm still selecting them the plane 2 is here i just need to like it does not appear in the ui but it, it's here in the properties uh and the asset browser is consistent man there's so many new stuff in the engine let's see in the comments if you guys can point out what's going on but right now honestly i think i'll stop like literally just stop uh implementing new stuff in this engine because it's already very cool and i can make my games using it as you guys just saw and i need to finish ludo there 51 <laughs> and as you can see the game is completely like random because i not have time to make anything better than that uh but again i'm happy with this and i'm happy that we are finally making a game using Cave, like another game. And this one is way better than the one before um, and way more polished and stuff like that. Uh, oh, by the way, man, there's new features everywhere. Like to edit the, the templates, I do have like the back to scene stuff. Uh, right now I can override uh, template properties right here. Uh, so this, for example, this is the portal. The portal is a template. I do have like the next net level portal with all the logic. But if I go to my scene and create an instance of this template, of this, this portal, you can see that I can edit the properties here to say, hey, this is the next level that I want to do it. And this is like a custom override of a template. I can do the same for the player, for example. So my player do have a health and I can attack. And this is properties that is uh, overwritable in the template. The enemies, I think, they do have a health as well. So if I want to make like a random enemy that's super huge, I can go ahead and make it with like 500 of health. So all new fe uh, cave features I do have also in the scene. I do have properties right now in the scene, which is super cool. I'm using a bunch of properties in the scene uh, to make the game. So yes, a bunch of exciting news and uh, I will go back to developing this game. I just wanted to make sure you guys know that I'm making this game, I'm not that <laughs> or anything like that. I was not able to release Cave Engine um, 0.98 yet because of this gem, but uh, the good news is uh, I will release it um, a little bit after the gem. I just need to finish up uh, some stuff. I'm making, um, when I do a game like that, I always have like a, a change list stuff, that, that stuff that I pretty much uh will change in the engine uh based on my usability so yeah bunch of new stuff come coming to cave i'm very happy and excited because the workflow is finally here folks and i'm excited my name is william and i see you in the next video